Hello everyone, if you liked our hardness and want to see more, like us, comment, follow us, subscribe, go hard! Coach hard. Oh. oh man. Merry hardness and a happy couch year. Yes. Hello everyone. Welcome to another special edition Hi. of uh, our Welcome. awesome show called Couch Hard. Welcome back. This is the uh, second edition, the second part, um, the sequel, part two, of uh, our Christmas Hardness series. Uh, we're going to be going through a couple of movies that we associate the time with, um, and we're going to be talking about a tradition we have. Again, uh, we have the tree ornaments we introduced to you last week. We will be talking about a couple more, just saying a little blurb about them, uh, maybe some memories associated with them. Again, memories, family, your heart, your mind, that's what... This is about, that's what Christmas is about to us. Oh, and we're also going to be talking about some shopping ideas. Yep. Hard gifts. A lot of gifts. Yeah. One per episode. That's only four gift ideas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Worth what? Nothing. And then... You guys are garbage. <laughs> it's, it's for things out there, for people who don't have gift ideas or they're too busy to think of one. So we're going to throw an idea at you and maybe, hey. And maybe it helps you out. Without further ado, let's get her started. Let's bring our new song to Brand you. Brand new. All right, Al, on three. One, two, three, four. Go chart, go chart, go chart all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a go chart, soar away. Hey, coaching through the snow. You follow us on the go. All the way, way to the FedEx Bowl and the Maple Leafs stole the show. Our wings had it gone. Parts one, one, two, three, and four. Festival for a darn bar Christmas time and more! Yes! Turn you off. Culture high fist. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors. Who's going first? Sure. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, yeah. Last week I went with the rock. This week the rock. Yeah. So. I'm bringing to you an actual Christmas movie that's dear to me. For the Christmas time. Actual Christmas. Yeah. I have to watch this movie during Christmas time. Oh, the movie is yet. called Scrooged. I'm sorry. It stars one of my favorite actors. He goes by the name of Bill Murray. Yes. Of about here. It's a Richard Donner film. Filmed in 1988, guys. Eight, it's one hour and 41 minutes long. It stars also alongside... Bill Murray is Karen Allen. She yep. plays his love interest and the girl who changes his heart. Oh. It's Richard Donner's Scrooged. Um, it's his take on the Scrooge story. So essentially, ah. give you the synopsis. He's an advertisement or like a commercial executive who hates Christmas. The typical story of Scrooge. He hates Christmas. Christmas brings nothing. He likes to rip on the people who have no money. He puts products out there. Wants to sell them. If you can't afford it, you're junked in. And it's uh, an 80s version of Scrooge. And Bill Murray gets haunted by three ghosts, obviously. Past, present, future. And like all Scrooge movies, he has a change of heart. <laughs> but the way they deliver it is excellent. It's an 80s, 90s. So it has a little bit of action. Yeah. It has a little bit of dark humor. It has a little bit of um, insensitivity because he is a prick. Exactly. I, I love I love that. That's the antithesis of what Christmas is. Yes. And I always love that, just acknowledging that flavor. Yes. So, Scrooged. So Scrooge. So that's what I picked. And it's an actual Christmas movie. Your turn. Okay, I've got an actual Christmas movie as well for mm -hmm. uh, for this one. Same um, brainwaves. It's Jingle All The Way. Turbo Man doll! Enough of this Turbo Man! <laughs> I've had it up to here with this Turbo Man. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger's car, isn't it? <laughs> Phil Hartman oh. is also hilarious in this movie. Yeah. You know, God rest his soul, he's passed away. Oh but yeah, so Arnold Schwarzenegger, my hero, my number one actor. Totally. With Sinbad! Sin With Sinbad! Yeah, it's like one of few Sinbad. movies he's ever done. Yeah, he did like three movies, and this is one of them. So, um, but yeah, no, it's just got that huge, it, he's chasing down this toy. It's that, that one toy that's really hot at Christmas time and you have to get it for your son because but he's going to hate you all been if there. he doesn't. Our parents. And he's going around everywhere and he goes into, it's, it's like this, 
you know, adventure that all the people he meets and all this, you know, he f- runs into a counterfeit Santa group. He, all the, Jim Belushi. Jim Belushi. Oh my God. He's hilarious, Oh man. my God. He is hilarious it's, in that movie. It's got, a, it's, it's got a huge lineup. Yeah, man. it wow. does. It really does. And, uh, and, and it's a fun movie. It's got a lot of slapstick comedy. Yeah. I'm a sucker for that stuff. Um, and it, it's cool to see Arnold being Arnold. In a Christmas movie, that's yeah. why I found funny about it. He brings this ironic nature of how big he is. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that's a pretty good job, man. Yeah, it's fantastic. And yeah, well, it has a strong meaning, right? You know, because yeah. at the end of the day, it's not about the toy, right? It's about you really feel for the emotions between the father and the son, even like the with the wife, the mother, just the family dynamics and how, like, again, like we were talking about that, it's a rough time. You got to kind of just. Ru- um, muscle through and but realize you know, what's important. But you know what's yeah. funny? And you know what's funny about that movie? Is that movie is a, is is a modern day representation of what Christmas is to a lot of people. Yeah. Rushing out there to buy toys and it's yeah. busy and it's crazy. People are ruthless. People are ruthless. Do we see on the news people get killed yeah. over a toy at like Toys R Us? But you know what? Like this really? movie at the time we didn't see stuff like that. No. Ever. We are seeing stuff like that now. Yeah. That's that's one of them for today for you guys. Great heartwarming movie, 1996, um, directed by Brian Levent. Yeah, it's a fantastic movie. Cool. Yeah. Yeah, uh, moving forward into the next film that I chose. I so I chose the movie Gremlins. Yes. Direct, they're scary. They're, they're, yeah. They got big teeth. <laughs> they're skinny things with big giant ears. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and they're like... They're, That's they're, what they sound they're like. They're violent. <laughs> they're violent. <laughs> They're violent. Does that, say, does that say something's wrong with me? I want to pick. I want to pick Gremlin. What? Director is Joe Dante. It came out on my birth year in 1984, and it, it runs for an hour and 46 minutes. Mm. It stars Zach Galligan and Phoebe Coates. The premise of the story, it's got a good moral behind the story. It's during the Christmas season. Um, mm. They want to buy a, a gift for somebody. He ends up in a magical shop. So he buys this creature, and he's got specific instructions. It's a magical creature. We don't know anything about it. We're not supposed to know anything about it. All we know is that this magician just disappears. This wizard, this warlock, he just disappears. The Mogwire, little Kirby creature, little Furby creature the looking cute. things. Okay. Yeah. Um, if you drop water on them, they spawn eggs. Yeah. When you feed them after midnight, they turn into gremlins. The gremlins are, 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 are maniacal creatures. They all have different crazy personalities. Some are cynical, some are violent, some are... Um, some are just always constantly eating. One is sad. Yeah, one <laughs> sad. I don't want to get too much into this because it's going to ruin the movie for you if you haven't checked it out. But everyone, like I said, guys. A little different. It's not necessarily a Christmas movie, but it has a pile of snow. It has like the holiday time. And so, guys, Gremlins, if you haven't checked it out, I suggest it's a good watch. So, what's your next one? What's your next one for this week's episode? I have another Christmas movie. This is a pretty straight Christmas movie here. Home Alone. Oh, boy. 1990, Macaulay Culkin, Joe Pesci. That's... And Daniel Stern, this directed is... by Chris Columbus. It's... Uh, Macaulay Culkin, he's like this cute little blonde kid. He does the... You know, that's the classic Macaulay... slapstick comedy. It's got a lot of cool one-liners in it. I love Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern. I think they're, they're, their chemistry they're, they're is hilarious. Robbers, they're robbers. Yes, they're they're playing the two robbers in there, Thieves. and they 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 come along Kevin McAllister's house, and uh, he and they find out finally that he's alone, and they want to take advantage of him. But little do they know that this this little kid has set up traps. It's like a Looney Tunes episode, yeah. and he's Bugs Bunny. Kevin is Bugs Bunny, and these two guys. It's, it's like, almost for me. Those two guys, Joe Pesci is like Yosemite Sam. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. just like him. Yeah, yeah. The the Looney Tunes. I'll flash a picture of it. He's he's got the red mustache and the red hair, and oh, then freaking the other guy reminds me of Cosmo Kramer from Seinfeld. Oh. He's just like this big lanky dude, and he's just like he falls all over the place, and he's just Marv. it's just hilarious. Marv, yeah. You're, yeah. you're forgetting a mo- one of the most important iconic characters, actors of that time, John Candy, Dan Aykroyd sidekick. John Candy. Oh man, God rest his soul. Yeah. yeah, that movie has a good a good meaning behind it. And too. that too, and that's what I was getting to. It, it gives childish action <laughs> with adult humor. Yeah. In a Christmas way. Yeah. And, and it wraps it up in a nice bowl. And the, guys, Home Alone, an excellent movie. If you haven't watched it, get your head out of the sand. Just go watch that movie. So, this closes the segment of our movie choices. For the John Motion Pictures. For the Motion I'm Pictures. I'm going to go get my ornament here. We associate Christmas with and what it means to us in terms of a film sense.
So the next segment of the show, we're giving you another two more Christmas ornaments. You can go first on this one. Show them what you got right. and what it means. So this is a 2015 limited edition, and it says it right on the box. But this is a limited edition. It wasn't produced in high numbers. That's what that means for this for the 2015 year. This sold out very, very quickly. This is the 1966 classic Joker, Cesar Romero's version. Okay? So this is how it looks, guys. Do a hard selfie angle here for you. Introducing a new camera, new angle. High production value. Look. Woo okay, so this is the ornament, the Joker from 1966. You can see the Batman logo there. That is the classic Batman logo, the one with Adam West. This is Cesar Romero's version of the Joker. It says 2015 limited edition on top. Like I said, these weren't produced in high numbers. That's what that means. Okay. And, uh, and yeah. So this has a really cool story uh, associated. It's like a very warm memory for me, actually, because my father, these were sold out. It was going for an insane price on eBay, um, but I spoke to my father, he travels a lot, and uh, he was in the US at the time, and I uh, just like, I'm like, ah, you know what, like I'm looking for this, you know what I mean, see if there's anything around, yeah. if it's not too much trouble, if it's around, whatever. And he came back with it for me, and he went to a couple of stores, and he, and he found one for me, you know what I mean, it's, but it meant a lot, and I always remember that when I see it on my tree now. So that's mine for today. God bless my father for grabbing that for me because I probably wouldn't have it. Okay, so the one that I chose is, is something that represents me and what I liked as a child growing up. And it is my favorite villain of all times in the Marvel Universe. And it represents growing up as a child, my favorite villain in the Marvel Universe. And it is uh, a character who was a subplot made popular um, alongside the infamous Spider-Man, which I'm, I adore also. Um, but I chose to pick this one up. It is the Venom. Cool. And here you have it. It's uh, actually a bigger box. So you can see right there, it says Venom, the Christmas tree ornament. And again, again, he's not posable. He's wearing the black suit and not the blue one. Because everybody decides ooh, which one's the blue one and which one's the what? black one. Is it blue one? Yeah, he's, cool. he's a little more he's like blue. Oh, like I thought His that coloring. was just I thought that was just no shady. Oh, no, okay. Yeah. No, because because McFarlane owns Venom, mm -hmm. he did the same thing he did with Spawn. Mm -hmm. He made a black version and a blue version. Oh. The blue version is the Canadian version. Cool. Yeah, here it is, guys. It's uh, 2016. Right there, Venom again, guys. The only reason why I like it is because I adore. The Venom villain, he is my favorite villain of all time. I love his universe, I love his his counterpart, which is Spider-Man. Uh, we chose the Venom. Nice. Eddie Brock Venom. Yes. So, <laughs> we're gonna go to the, the part that nobody really wants to talk about, because it is one of those things that it's tough for everybody. Yeah. Like, uh, can get you into some hot water, into the doghouse. Well, it's huh? it, but it's because what right we, in that doghouse. It's because of what certain people made it. Like <laughs> personally, like okay, we are getting divorced. <laughs> That's what we're gonna hear on Christmas. <laughs> so okay. we're gonna give you gift ideas. So and some people out there are sentimental beings, and they care more about the thought than they do exactly. the product. Exactly. So and I'm that kind of way. I don't care. I don't need something extravagant. I'm happy the fact that you thought about me. Mm -hmm. And in saying that, guys, a gift, a good gift idea is money. Uh, people out there That's, are going to yeah. disagree with us. Oh, money's Hard no good. Hard cash. Money. People shouldn't look at money as, oh, there's this no negative thought thing. in it. This negative connotation. How about, yeah, the, yeah, how, yeah. About the, how about the person who received the money think to themselves, well, maybe that person didn't have a chance to get me something. That's right. But they still gave me something. That's right. That's the way I look at it. People have busy lives. You know, you know life happens. Things happen. But at the end of the day, if when you read between the lines, what matters is the fact that you still thought of that person and you still gave them something. And that person should be appreciative no matter who they are. There's other ways to gift money if it makes you feel better. You could buy prepaid visas. Yes. You could buy uh, gifts, Apple, cards. iTunes, iTunes cards. You yes. can buy restaurants. restaurants. Um, you can buy money. Theater. Theater, theater, theater uh, coupons. coupons. You, um, also, there's like um, well, your local gas station. 
Walmarts, grocery yes, stores, yeah. dollar stores. They all have gift cards, food cards, movie the cards. Dollars? Now they even sell like Microsoft points. Wow. So people don't want to put their visas on Xbox or their visas on the PlayStation. Yeah. They buy them points. Oh. And you use those points to purchase the game that's digitally cool. through the yeah, store. Yeah, yeah, that's so it. The moral of the story, guys, gift and money is a gift in itself. It is. Also, your hard-earned work and money is given to somebody else. A lot of people are, are saying this is a crap idea yeah. because it's not thoughtful. But what I say to them is they still did think about you regardless yeah, of they how did. they presented you a gift. They yeah. gave you the card, they gave you the nice thoughts. Here, I'm thinking about you. Yeah. Buy something nice Buy for Buy something for yourself. But, so in saying that, this will conclude our uh, episode two of our Couch Hard Christmas. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope there's something in there that helped you guys. And maybe just the energy we're trying to share with you is uplifting yeah, you, you know what I mean? Awesome. Try to look around you to see what important and good is with you guys, because that's what Christmas means. It yeah. means loving, family, right unity, and this is what we're all about. So, Coach 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 Coach. Coach. that's what it's about. So guys, stay tuned for episode three. We'll be dropping that to you guys next week. Drop us a comment, like us, subscribe to us. Oh guys, a uh, special right. announcement. Yes, I wanted to mention, um, you don't need to set up a YouTube account. You don't have to do all your name and all this, that stuff. Um, if you have a Gmail account, you already have a YouTube account. You get the app and you're already good to go because Google owns YouTube. Yes. So you already have, if you have a Gmail account, you can subscribe to us in under 30 seconds. Yes. Okay. Guys, also, don't forget, if you didn't watch our last week's episode, check it out. This is a part two of a part four series. Mm -hmm. um, if you didn't catch it, beside the subscription button on your YouTube, there is an alarm button. Turn that on, because a lot of people ask us, when do you guys post? And again, our slogan is, as always will be, always, always Monday, Monday, always hard. hard. So, in saying that, get your notifications going. If you do care, if you do want to watch us, I mean, we do appreciate it. Okay. Regular theme. You ready? Yep. All right. When you're feeling down, you got a crown, please turn on Couch Hard. I'll fair to for all your moods every day on Couch Hard. We're yakking along, writing this song with no direction. We're broke as fuck, down in your luck, better hit that dog's up. So we're here for you, just us two, doesn't matter what we say or do. Just remember that we're here to check every day. If you liked the hardness and want to see more of us, like us, huh? follow us, and subscribe! Coach Hard!